All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Next Time with Power Center. In this video, I wanted to talk about a famous old school bodybuilder by the name of Ed Corny. Now, many of you guys may remember Ed Corny from Pumping Iron. He had that famous scene with Arnold Schwarzenegger um, where they were squatting together, and both of them ended up laying on the floor after their squat session. Um, so, actually, I had a subscriber message me about that squat session. He claimed to have that belt that Ed Corny was wearing in that video from Pumping Iron signed by Ed Corny, and he tried to sell me that belt for $5,000. Um, I politely declined, but it was a cool opportunity to have him uh, offer me that. So I wanted to throw that out there. If anyone else has any cool things that they think I might be interested in from you know old school classic bodybuilding era, you know, please don't be afraid to send that offer in or send me an email. Um, I think that stuff is very cool, very interesting. So some guy, one of my subscribers actually has that belt um, from that training session, that famous uh, training, training session in Pumping Iron. So I thought that was very cool. Um, so Ed Corney was born in 1933. He is currently 83 years old. In 1968 was when he started competing. And he started competing at the age of 33. So actually, you know, relative to other bodybuilders, he kind of started, he got a late start to bodybuilding. 33 is not young to do your first competition. Um, so he's actually pretty famous for his biceps and his conditioning. He commonly competed as a lightweight competitor or the under 200 uh, category for the Olympia. So that's what he was most famous for. Again, he was Arnold's training partner. Um, so in 1971, he won the Mr. USA. In 1972, he won the Mr. America. And in 1972, he also won the Mr. Universe. So in 1975, which was the Mr. Olympia that was in the Pumping Iron movie, he competed in the under 200 category and he placed second. So that was one of his best placings in the Olympia. In 76, he placed third. 77, he placed second. 78, he placed fourth. 79, he placed ninth. In 80, he placed 11th. 81, he placed 13th. And 83, he placed 16th. And again, in all of these competitions, he competed in the lightweight under 200 category at the Olympia. Um, so as you can see, from 76 to 83, his placings gradually dropped um, from second all the way down to 16th place. Um, so at that point, he basically uh, kind of gave up on his dream of winning the Olympia. He competed at five foot seven, 195 pounds. So he was typically only about five pounds under that cutoff. So he was on the bigger end of that weight limit. So he was, he was right at 200 pounds. Um, so he would compete in the 1994 Mr. Olympia Masters 60 plus competition. He would actually win that. And then in 2004, he was inducted into the IFBB Hall of Fame. Um, so one thing I wanted to mention is you still see this guy pretty much at every single expo. I go to the Arnold every year for, I've been going for about 10 years now. And I see Ed Corney sitting in a booth at the Arnold pretty much every year, um, signing autographs and, you know, meeting people. And it's kind of sad recently because I've seen him this past year and he was just sitting there. No one was even coming up to him. I don't think anybody really knew who he was. So that's why I wanted to make a video about Ed Corney and kind of introduce him to, you know, the younger generation because I see him at the expo all the time. You know, there's nobody waiting in line to meet him. There's nobody really ever, you know, buying autographs from him. So I kind of wanted to make a video uh, just giving him a shout out, giving him some spotlight because I feel like a lot of people from my generation don't even know who Ed Corney is. And I think that's kind of sad. And I'm really sad to see him uh, sitting at the expo, you know, alone, waiting for people to come up to him all the time. Uh, maybe next year I'll go up to him and try to get an interview with him. I'm sure he would love that because it looks like he's bored out of his mind uh, when he's sitting there at these expo signing autographs. So maybe I'll try to get an interview or something with him. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.